Hey everybody, this is Camnex24. So anyway, Team Plasma's invaded the museum. This is pretty much direct continuation of the previous episode. And they're trying to steal this skeleton, which I'm assuming is like of a Dragonite. I mean, they kind of, oh, rather just the skull. They kind of referred to it as an unknown Pokemon that was probably flying and had some accents, but... So anyway... Now we find out that, um... Oh, this is Berg. Apparently he's gonna be the next gym leader for us. Or one of them. Oh, and here's Bianca. And Sharon. And so, we're supposed to search in Pinwheel Forest for Team Plasma. And we also apparently get the dowsing machine. Not the dowsing MCHN as I used to think it was. Because I didn't realize they just abbreviated machine. So that'll be nice, that's basically like the item finder. Hey everybody, this is Capnex24 bringing you guys another episode of my Pokemon White Adventure. So anyway, here we are inside Pinwheel Forest. And, um... Team Plasma was kind of here before. But when I tried talking to them, they didn't say anything. And anyway, we're supposed to hunt them down. You know, of course, there's battles in here. Alright, so all that guy had was a Mona, but actually... I'm going to switch out one of my team members. I've been using Timpole. That's kind of going to be my water type. Uh, nice thing is this lady here will actually heal you up, although you do have to battle her once. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to switch it out real quick for that dog, uh, Lillipup. And we're back. See, the fact is, uh, with Timpole, like, how many, um, like, you know, Pokemon that has an advantage over could there possibly be and since it, it's a forest I wouldn't be surprised if there's a decent amount of grass types which would have a disadvantage over um, mentioned something about hidden items so we could use a dowsing machine I prefer the one from heart gold soul silver because that was more like a radar this one sort of points in which direction you should go but it's still like a big improvement over the item finder from like you know emerald Alright, so that wasn't that bad. Um, there, uh, Seawaddles did know Razor Leaf, so that knocked out my Rog and Rolla. Since I saw a Plasma member, gonna heal up again. This is really convenient. And so... See if we can get this over with easily. You stubborn brat, when I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Although, I highly doubt that, because uh, I think I'm going to win this. Yeah, there's one Pokemon. Ooh, it's one of these sand dials. I think it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Ooh, Intimidate. That could suck. Man, right now I kind of wish I hadn't gotten rid of the uh, Tim Pole. But I do still have a uh, Pansage, so I think I'm just going to go with the Leer, open up with one or two of those. Okay, he's going for Sand Attack, but I'm kind of going to undo his work by just switching out soon enough. Be nice if I could get Lillipup to evolve, because, you know, one of the slots on my team is kind of going to be like a rotatable slot. Um... And, you know, it's the one that Lillipup's currently taking. It'll be like, whatever is working out, you know. Like, Sand Attack. If I can hit with this one Leer, that would be great. I think I'm just going to switch into Pansage right now. So that's... So that's three Leers? Yeah, three Leers that hit, anyway. 
I think one of them missed. Just torment. Forget exactly what that does. I think that might be the one that makes sure I can't use a move twice in a row. Not like it mattered. Because that was pretty much like a one-shot deal, really. So we have to find the other Team Plasma members. I mean, there's probably like four or five more of them. Here's one. Meanwhile, I assume like you can get Sea Waddles in here. And I know one trainer had like a Venipede. You know, one trainer outside the forest. So maybe you can catch those here too. But I'm almost positive you can get Sea Waddles. Wonder who's faster. Yeah, I'm not fast at oh right, bite was stupid. Well I was kinda hoping though that I was faster so that maybe I could get it to flinch. Goes for a leer. That's okay. Hopefully I can hit with this tackle. Okay, in that case I'll probably just switch out into uh give this one to Rog and Rolla. It knows Rock Smash, so this should be Pretty easy. The nice thing about Rog and Rolla is that it'll evolve at level 25, but then again when it's traded. So realistically, I'll get a Gigalith at level 25. That's, I mean, it's going to be very slow, but it's going to be highly defensive, but still pretty good attacker. All right, so I guess time to search for more grunts. Is this just a trainer that wants to battle? I'm not sure. I'll battle the regular trainers later on. Ooh, super potion. All right, that was just a Padalil, which is a Pokemon White exclusive as far as I know. I believe it's black counterpart, Pokemon black counterpart, is um, Cotton Wee. Something like that. It might not be a bad idea to catch two of them because there's a trade in, I believe, Nake Green City. That allows. Where did this guy come from? That allows you to trade one of them for the other. So, um, yeah. Ooh, a Chesto Berry. So, anyway, I might actually use, uh, whatever it was called, Petalil, I think, as um, a member of my team to replace maybe. Uh, the Pen Sage, Parasage, whatever it is. Pan Sage. I can't remember these names at all. I think I'm just gonna have to go and take some time and actually memorize them. Alright then, and continuing through Pinwheel Forest. Now, actually, I've made some changes to my team since, um, before. I kind of just went around, caught some Pokemon. Um, and so out first. I have uh, Rog and Rolla right now. I actually just switched it in. There's a Team Plasma member. Quite visible up there. And apparently a trainer waiting for us here. Alright, so Rog and Rolla was not the best choice there because she had a pan pour. But whatever. So I guess let's go up here. It's going to be a Team Galactic member. Or not Galactic, Plasma. Jeez. Okay, just one Pokemon. Another one of these stupid Pat Rats. You'd think they'd have gotten something better by now. I'll go with the Rock Smash. I mean, at least Pat Rat's not that bad, I guess, but... Could be a lot better. And all I need is one hit, and this will be over. Alright. And level up for Rog and Rolla there. Okay, 
And... Wait a sec. Okay, yeah, we can go there. There was this here. Is there anything in here? Guess not. Alright, nice. Successfully passed through that without a battle. I can almost guarantee one of these spots is going to involve a battle for me. Well, that was somewhat of a joke, really, because all they had was a panzer, which, by the way, I actually caught, like, the special grass. It's like shaking grass. Hmm, which way should I go? Well, there's a plasma member, so I guess I'll go here. I hope that maybe this is, will be the last one. Although, I think this is number four, so I'm gonna g just guess there are five. Ooh, this one has three Pokemon, a Pat Rat. I swear to God, if they have three Pat Rats, I'm going to be really disappointed. Guess I'll start with the Rock Smash. Hopefully get this one Pat Rat out of the way really easily. And... That was easy. Sand Dial. Alright, then in that case, could very easily switch into Petalil. Especially since that'll get rid of the Sand Attacks effect when I get back into the Rock and Rollo, which I'll probably switch into soon. Petalil unfortunately got paralyzed. And it's using Intimidate, but I don't care because I know Leaf Seed and Mega Drain. Really, all I need is like this Leaf Seed. So. I'll be set. Petalil's not the strongest thing ever, but it's got decent stats. And, um, its moves, especially for, like, in-game and this point in the game, I think are great. Another Pat Rat, wow. Um, it knows Growth, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, and Mega Drain. So it can, you know, set up with the Leech Seed to heal itself a bit and chip away at the opponent's health. Meanwhile, can set up with some growths if, you know, you want to. And then that'll make Mega Drain more powerful, which will also heal it as well as doing decent damage. Um, I, I, I don't know what the base on it is. I think it might be 40. But like I said, because it heals itself, that's still decent. And especially... Like, at this point in the game, and especially because if I do use it, there's a decent chance I'll have a type advantage. You know, that's just great for me. Alright, so I defeated this guy. And, and then as for Sleep Powder, I can use it to help me catch Pokemon, which is great. Oh, nice. I think that was the last one, and that was the Dragon Skull. And then... Gorm comes up and says... How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Gorm of the Seven Sages, I'm mortified that this skull, which went, which we went to so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the Dragon Skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It's completely unrelated. Oh, well. That's... Reassuring? Hmm. Anyway, now I guess Gorm... So Gorm and Jetsis are two of the seven sages. Huh. So basically they're just... Taking a little more time than they need to to explain that they're gonna leave for now. Right then. So I guess now we get to get heading off to Castelia City. To, um... You know, we'll get to battle Berg, who is apparently Bug-type, which will be great for us. We'll just rip through him. Ooh, and we get a Moonstone from Lenora. So we can evolve Mono now, and um, it could actually be a decent Psychic Attack. I think this is the way we're supposed to keep going. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm going to grab this item, if I can. And if you like this video, then please rate, comment, subscribe. Send this to your friends, and I will see you guys next time.